Hello there. Um, very recently, I went to this uh, fairly deep lake and I ran both of my submarines there. Nautilus came a cropper straight away because when I pushed the watertight cylinder onto the end cap, this happened. A crack appeared and I just broke it out. I mean, at this point, this is completely useless. So that's the end of this. I might also say with this that I, I used a piece of plastic in here uh, with an offset um, a hole in order to mount the piston. And I'm going to recreate that for you in a minute in a much, much better way. Issue with this is that this plastic is very similar to the kind of stuff that you get for chopping boards. It doesn't glue to, a, to acrylic at all. And so I found that I had the occasional leak and I started using epoxy in there and it looks really disgusting. So I managed to buy some lovely new acrylic right here. And this is now going to be the new uh, ballast tank. Issue is, although it looks the same, it's two millimeters narrower. That's quite a problem because it means that the end caps won't fit. I've got to remachine everything. I've got to remachine that piece that goes in the middle. Um, that's not a bad thing. It didn't really take all that long in the end, um, but that's exactly what I've done. And the result, I think, is absolutely stunning. I won't show it to you yet. You have to wait to the end. And then I used some of this. This is um, a piece of acrylic. It's uh, six millimeters thick. I got this from um, the uh, from the container from the from the tip really. I used that. I cut a piece of that out, which would fit as an internal partition. I drilled a hole. I'm showing this to you because I don't have videos of this. I drilled a hole that would hold this particular sized bolt. I bolted it in and then put that into the chuck of the lathe and turn down a perfect disc. So let's see what happened next. So you can see it fits really quite nicely in there. Uh, the next thing to do was to measure the diameter of the perspex that holds the piston. Uh, once I had got that nice diameter, which happens to be 2.239 and it's in inches, um, it meant that I, I needed to leave a gap uh, at one end uh, of, of, the, um, of the internal piece of at least 174 thou. So that's exactly what I did. So you can see I've used a very fine center drill to mark the center of my hole. You can see the hole I used for the bolt to turn the whole thing down. And then I drilled holes for the... Um, for the bolts. And what I'm doing here is using the lathe, I'm using the drill stand as um, a jig in order to, to get this nice and square. So I'm just using this by hand, I'm turning this by hand, I'm holding it on with my fingers, and the result is I've got a very nice square um, thread, which I just then completed by putting in the vise, like so, uh, just to finish off. So I knew that these were now going to be beautifully parallel. The reason I'm screwing these bolts in is because when I add some epoxy glue, it holds them in really nicely. I don't have to put a nut on the other side. It's all done with the epoxy, uh, with, with the acrylic. So I've centered this up now to that very center drill mark in the, um, in the lathe that you can see. I'm going to turn that on now. I'm going to start by just drilling the first hole. And then what I do is I put um, a tool in there, a boring tool, and gradually, ever so gradually, start to work that out until it's, um, it will take the um, uh, tube that will hold um, the piston. I'm nearly there at this point, as you can see. It's all about going gently because I had to turn through that other hole that was in the middle. And here we go. It's just about right. I'm measuring the internal dimensions. I want to get this a really nice fit with the Perspex tube. And that is looking gorgeous. Uh, it works really well. I didn't show you that, but it does. I'll have my back to you. 
Now I'm just putting the screws in that are going to hold the piston uh, mechanism, putting some epoxy on those threads before I finish them off, just winding them all in, and I'm going to leave that overnight and just let that get really hard and continue the next day. Now I have, this is the uh, end cap that the pump goes on, and I've just been remachining that, and the result is I reckon spectacular, really good. Now if you want more information on how to do that, check out the links on the screen here because I've got some really good videos on how to make end caps work every time. Now this is the internal, uh, it's like a reducer but it's not really a reducer, um, but that fits perfectly as well. I'm really happy with how all of that turned out. Now I've put this um, piston uh, tube in here and now I'm using um, glue, it's very very light liquid glue which uh, sticks together acrylic. Now it's automatically run down inside that joint with um, capillary action so that looks really really very very nice indeed. I'm just wiping off any slight drips um, that I can see and now I'm going to put some on the um, inside, just making sure I don't get any of this glue on the inside of the uh, bore because I don't want that to be damaged in any way whatsoever. Once again, through capillary action it just slides in between the perspex baffle and the tube and the result is, I find, pretty stunning. Now I've left this overnight and now I'm just uh, fitting this into the the new tube, I've marked on there where it goes um, exactly so that I know it's nice and square and now uh, we come to glue it in. It's quite a simple process, once again I just don't want to splash this anywhere, I just want to focus on that joint and go around. Now the result is I can see that it's filled up the gap between um, the tube and the baffle and it looks pretty darn good to me so I've left it now for um, I'm going to leave it again for a whole day just to make sure that that is completely solid before I do anything else it is now and it's time time now to fit the piston um, to its new home and I've got to say this is looking it looks really, really nice. I was a little embarrassed by the other one, particularly as it got more daggy as I tried to fix the leaks. But this one, this is the way to do it. You turn them down really nice and finely, you put them into place, and you use the appropriate acrylic glue, and it's stunning. The glue is called Acribond 105 Solvent Cement. There we go, pistons going in and I just managed to cut myself <laughs> as you do occasionally. Just threading this now onto the studs. I'll put a couple of uh, nuts on there and this um, is finished. So this is it, it's now complete and it's ready to go out on its first run and now it has been on its first run there is not a drop in there on the other side of the ballast tank. That baffle works beautifully, it's efficient, it's strong, I'm very very happy with all of that. And There's the new pump to boot. Okay, see you later.